back guys, JVids here. Today's video, I'm going to show you a great little path where we can get an unlimited amount of fish. We will be fishing for these things with the pole, well at least at this one spot. The next spot we won't be. But this spot we will be, so if you want to come here, you're going to want to go to this exact point here. I'll zoom in and out so you know exactly where I am. And we're going to be going for some steelhead trout right now. And the reason why I like this spot is, for one, we're standing on the rock, so it kind of gives you that upper edge. And the fish are very close to us, so you don't have to cast very far at all. And the reel in time is very quick. So we can fill our satchel. I'm actually not going to do any editing throughout this, so it is a little bit longer than my normal videos. But I just wanted to show you guys how quickly it is. Um, basically, in real time, without any type of edit. The only time I'm going to edit is to the travel to the next spot. So basically all you're going to want to do of course is cast in and do a very slow reel and jerk every only once throughout the whole reel with the R2 button. And the way I reel my fish in I actually rotate both joysticks. Um, I find it comes in a hell of a lot faster than just trying to work both joysticks singly kind of thing, working one up and down, working one in a single, in a circular motion. Uh, using both thumbs in two circles works a hell of a lot faster and your brain just it flows a hell of a lot easier so the fish come in very quickly here. So we're gonna load up on the steelhead. Uh, if you want to slap on like some different lures I kinda change up here a little bit eventually down the road but uh, if you want to use like the special spinner, it kind of gives you the other little fish that are also around here. I mainly just want to fill up on the sat, uh, fill the satchel up with the uh, steelhead first, and then you can switch to the spinner and go for the smaller guys if you want. I'm not so much going to do that for you guys in the video here, just because I don't want to make it too long. It's al already a lot longer than uh, a video that I'm used to making. So like I said, bring these things in very quickly. And I'm going to do this pretty much until my satchels are full. You know what, I think I will speed the footage up just because uh, I'm not much of a talker and I can't sit here and talk for the next 15 minutes. So let's speed this bitch up and uh, we'll go from there. And there we go, speed this up. So I the whole total my video was 15 minutes before I added any of the speed up part here. So I just wanted to show you guys exactly how long I was sitting around. Um, and that's actually two spots, so I was here for about, I would say just under 10 minutes. Catching all these fish. I even do a little dink around here, try to switch, our, switch up and go to the other side. Because the steelhead, we're slowing down a bit but I'm pretty sure I've already caught in uh, very close to my limit anyways. But I switch back, I put the special lure on and end up bringing another one in. Keep going for it. A special lure definitely helps out if they start slowing down on you. So yeah, we're at nine, so we're gonna go to the next spot, which is just outside of Blackwater. Now the reason why I'm coming here is I've showcased this uh, a long time ago, actually before they did the big update. So I kind of wanted to see if it still works. Um, so you want to come here, take your fishing pole out. And as you see, they are definitely here still. You can cast in. I like to always cast in. I try to fish legitimately no matter where I go. But obviously if you see a better opportunity to get more fish, then you obviously will take it. So at this spot here, uh, pole fishing actually isn't very efficient, not like the first spot. So just put that damn pole away here, and we're gonna just going to push these fish right out of the water. If you've seen the video that I've posted before on this spot, you'll know exactly what to do. You don't really want to run so much, you just want to walk your way through. It definitely helps uh, the fish get spooked a little bit more. I find if you run, you kind of run right by them, and they don't even really uh, care that you're doing it. But like I said, we're going to get some largemouth here. Try to get a little bit different fish so we can uh, keep piling up that money in our satchel. 
So there's some uh, largemouth, some bluegill. There is a few steelhead here, but there's uh, very limited. We don't really need those since we just grabbed a whole whack load of those earlier. Um, there's some bluegill, if, if I didn't mention that one already. Some redfin pickerel. Uh, there might be a few chain pickerel in there as well, but uh, mainly here we're here for the bass. Between the steelhead and the bass, this is a pretty good little run. And all the little guys, uh, you know, you give it about at least 50 to $60 a run. Now that's not as good as uh, things that used to be, but we don't have carcass fishing anymore, so... We're all resorted back to the pole. Like I said, I was trying to do it legitimately, but... Uh, you know what? Pole fishing just isn't as good at this spot. So you don't need the pole, just keep fishing with your feet. Kick them on out of the water there. And that's some easy fish picking right there. Now I have this minute, uh, this video fully at 10 minutes there. I didn't edit any of the time while I was fishing. So we'll say about, uh, I put about 10 minutes on each spot. Um, obviously I didn't want to make it a 20 minute video, so I've cut a little bit of time out. But this one here, um, I could run it out until another 10, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I don't like making my videos too long. I basically want to get my point across, and that's the end of it for me. And I'm pretty sure you guys have got the point. As you can see, there's tons of little fish here for you to grab. We have super close to black water. So you go to the one spot, fill up your satchel full of the steelhead. Come on here, fill up on the other little guys. Scroll all over it. It's like 30 seconds away from black water. You go and empty there. And then you can either go back and do it all over again, or you can come to this spot and just go right back to black water. It's completely up to you. If you guys want, if you just want to see the video strictly on this spot again, I will put uh, the link to that in the description or the comments itself. But other than that, guys, I'm going to continue making some money here. I really hope this helped you guys out. If it did, make sure you share, like, and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.